Thank you for joining us on uh, West Covina Rotary Club's President's Message of the Week, and it's the week of uh, March 14th, 2011. So as you can see, I am feeling a lot better. Um, I still have a little bit of the congestion up on top, but uh, it's slowly going away. This has uh, been uh, a, a tricky bug. I've had it for about three weeks, and it got really bad last week, but um, I definitely feel better uh, this week. So... And then also, today is the first day, uh, first working day of um, daylight savings time. So we lost an hour, and man, that hour, you really feel it. Uh, you know, it's only 60 minutes, but uh, you got to wake up 60 minutes earlier, and that seems to make a huge impact on your day, at least for the first day of the, uh, of, the, of the daylight savings. So anyways, I hope everybody's doing well today and, um, and that you get through your day today and tomorrow you'll be back to normal, I hope. Uh, I know, uh, I hope I do. Anyways, um, first of all, I wanted uh, uh, to let you know, uh, thank you for the participation last week. We had a great turnout and we had uh, the four-way speech contest uh, participants uh, at our club last week. Wonderful, wonderful kids. Uh, we had a total of eight kids, and, um, and, and they were just fabulous. Uh, you know, and, and I imparted on them at the end of the contest that although you know, may, they may not have done as well as they wanted to do, uh, the, ba the bottom line is that it, uh, it's not really a contest of speech. I think it really is a challenge of courage. Uh, you know, like I said, uh, like, like they say that uh, public speaking is one of those things that is just the hardest thing. Some people even say it's worse, uh, worse than death. And, um, and I, you know, I remember the first time I did a public speaking uh, event and yeah, you're right. I mean, your heart is just pumping and, and it's going to burst out of your chest and, uh, you know, you're sweating and you're doing all sorts of things and, uh, you know, that's just what comes with it, and really, uh, what, it, what it comes down to is that you uh, have to have the experience, and of course, um, getting in front of people all the time, that's how you get it. And, and those kids, uh, you could tell that they wanted to keep on doing it and get better. So, uh, it was really great to see. And we had eight, uh, again, we had eight contestants, and, um, uh, and here, here's the eight. I might have left one out. Um, I, I wasn't able to take a, a picture of one of them. And, um, and then here are the winners. So congratulations um, uh, for the winners. And then the winners will also go on to the next level of competition. Uh, which it gets harder and harder, but uh, it improves their skills more and more because of the competition. Uh, it really is a great event for our kids uh, within our community to get that exposure. Plus, they win uh, some prizes as well. So, uh, congratulations for everybody that was uh, there for the for the contest, and congratulations for the three that won. Um, and I believe that we're probably going to see them again uh, within the next couple of weeks because we're hosting we're. We're the club that's hosting another uh, four-way speech contest uh, level. So um, I'll keep you posted on that. I believe it may be next week, uh, but I'll double. Uh, I'll make sure to double sure and let you know. Uh, the other thing is, uh, so this week we are having um, our Dan Stover Music Contest uh, nominee for our club. And, um, and so it's going to be great. We're going to have some music uh, and he's going to, show us uh, his talent and it's a, and again it's the same thing as a speech contest where um, you know, talented kids uh, will exhibit their talent and go to the next level as uh, as they compete in the dance over music contest um, and so we'll get a chance to really see her 
uh, I'm sorry, um, we we'll really see him uh, this week on Wednesday. Um, one thing I wanted to let you know is that I will not be there this Wednesday. Um, happens three times a year uh, for my kids, but uh, there is a teacher uh, uh, parent conference that, that I have to do, and um, my kids really come first. And, and so I'm going to be there for that, and I won't be able to make the meeting. So, um, so our um, our uh, president-elect Tony Villanueva will be filling in, and so um, please welcome her this Wednesday. Uh, one last thing I wanted to mention is that uh, I wanted to to uh, um, recognize a um, a guest that was there for our meeting this week or this last week, uh, Dwight. Jimenez, and um, I believe he's coming back this week too. So uh, let's all welcome him. Uh, great guy, um, uh, and um, and he's going to be here this week again. So uh, say you know, go go by his table and say hi to him. Okay. So, anyways, um, thank you for uh, joining us here on this message, and I will see you um, uh, actually not this Wednesday, but the following Wednesday. Have a great week.